So here is the Kriana bag, the Weekender bag, and it comes in a nice big dust bag, which is really clever um, and protects the bag quite a bit as it is an expensive bag, so you will want to protect it. And so let me open it and you can see what the bag looks like. It is, it got this color and it comes in a darker brown color as well. I if I could manage to get this out of there. So here is the beautiful bag. It is quite sizable. I think it's the largest weekender bag I've ever used. Um, and what's really nice about it is it's this very thick canvas material. So it's very sturdy. It feels like it'll last you your whole lifetime. And this, this letter strap is really nice. And there's also the compartments. So they have one zipper compartment, which has no pockets, unfortunately. But the middle compartment, this compartment has these really great deep pockets. You can see like, I could put a lot in here. I could put my hand in the front of my arm uh, in there too. Um, I think according to their website, those three pockets are for shoes. And then you have another compartment on the outside and this one doesn't come with pockets, but I put these in myself because I don't like fetching for things deep in the depths of uh, bags. So these are handy for me in case I have little things like pens or chargers, you know, hair clips, whatever loose items that I need to hold in one place, I have that. And this is actually fabric from a pair of pants that I no longer really wear. So extra fabric put to good use, very much in line with the concept of doing fashion in a sustainable way like Kuyana is doing. Um, so it's, it's just very sturdy. It feels very sturdy. You see the zipper is very nice. And you have this side pocket for holding water bottles or umbrellas, whatever little things that you need to have on you when you're traveling. And it also comes with a shoulder strap, which you can uh, connect here and here. And I'll put up a picture of how it looks when you're using it as a shoulder bag instead of a tote. And I'll also put up a picture of it being used as a tote to compare. And the back of it is really awesome too because it has this compartment, which allows it to slide over your carry-on bag so you don't have to keep holding it on your shoulder. And now I will try to squeeze as many things into this bag as possible to show you how much you can actually put in here. And you know, I think it'll fit a lot so you don't even need a carry-on, like a, like an actual like 20 inch carry-on suitcase that you put in the overhead bin compartment. I think you could really get away with just this. So to give everyone an idea of what I'm gonna pack into that weekender bag, I've got an assortment of different outfits here. I probably don't need all these outfits. If you're going away for like a week or two, this might be what you would bring with you. So I wanted to show like a typical example of what someone packing for a trip might take. So I'll start here describing some of the items I have that I'm gonna squeeze into the weekender bag. These hot pink pants, because pink is supposed to be the color of the summer. I'm really excited. I typically enjoy hot pink, but too afraid to wear it because it's such a bright color. But since it's really in this year, I'm gonna do it. This is just a pajama top that I have. These are some really nice, um, colorful, summer, perfect dress. It's it's not a maxi dress, it's just a long dress, like a dress separate. 
Um, this is a maxi dress and I got this from Old Navy. Really like the print and the feel of it. It is so nice. It doesn't feel hot to the touch. It feels actually pretty cool. So I like to have this during the summer. And here's a shorter dress. It's a little bit dressier. Um, I got this from Zara a long time ago. It's a really cute dress. So I like to treat it for um, treat it as a special occasion dress because it is rather cute and it's kind of made of this like chiffon I think. So it, it, it looks a little fancier than like something like this maxi dress. Um, and then this blue dress is more for if I had to go to like a Sunday brunch or something. Um, and I like to pair it with cardigans. I always like to have cardigans on me during the summer. And I love this cardigan because it has a short sleeve. Look at that, isn't that clever? I got it at Ann Taylor Loft. It is really great for when you go into restaurants and the air conditioning is crazy cold um, and you just need an extra layer to not freeze to death. So <laughs> I always carry a little cardigan with me in the summertime. And here's a really cute, I think eyelet they call it, with the little holes there. Uh, I love this green color, olive green, such a nice color. So I'm gonna take it with me because I think this green pairs well with a lot of different other colors. So it's a versatile top. And I love this like cobalt blue color. It's one of my favorite colors ever. It just looks really good on me. The color is just really complimentary of my skin tone and all that. So I like that. And here is another cardigan with like a cute little shirt that I got at Nordstrom Rack. I love the blue of these flowers, and I think this cardigan from Uniqlo really brings it out, brings out the blue of this shirt. So these two pair really well together. And of course this cardigan could go well with a lot of other tops that I've had in this collection so far. So I like to just keep it on me. Like it's a very versatile color too. Now I have a simple gray top here. This gray top is so soft, it's just so soft. I could totally lounge in this, and I think I have a pair of shorts that go with it too. So I'm gonna pack that too, although I don't have it here. But I'll include that in my wig in their back. It is just so nice to lounge out in. And this is a cute little flip-flop shirt. It's so summer ready, I just love that. And a pair, again, it's a summer color, summer theme. White is so great for the summer. It goes well with so many other colors I have in my wardrobe here. So um, I like to have it and it pairs well with jeans. It pairs well with these shorts I have. Um, these shorts are so nice too. Um, they're kind of like a silk fabric, so it feels cool to the touch. And I brought another kind of whitish top just so I can sort of change these out because white tends to get dirty quite quickly. So I want to have another whitish top as a backup. And then another one of my go-to's in my wardrobe is this really soft um, tank top from Ann Taylor Loft. And it's this deep purple color and it pairs well with a lot of other colors too. So I like that. Now I'm gonna try to squeeze everything into my Weekender bag. Nicely. You can see it's a little snug, but everything's in there. And I probably could have done a better job of folding and everything and rolling it, which is the recommended method to pack. Um, the, it's like the, I think from the military, that's how people in the military pack their stuff. You roll it up in a safe space. Now let's not forget the shoes. So here I'm gonna take three pairs of shoes. Um, and I like to have my shoes not just like this and stick it in a bag. I like to keep it sanitary and hygienic by putting them into these uh, bags that I saved from the grocery store. Um, you know, those bags that we use to hold vegetables. Like this one, I think it comes from maybe Whole Foods or something. Um, so I like to just keep it in here, and then I stick it in the bag. I have 
issues are a rat. These are, I'll show you in case you're interested in seeing what they look like. These are some nudish, like pinkish. They're actually more pink than they are brown. It looks brown in the camera, but um, these aren't like the most comfortable shoes I have, but they were throw them out. Oh, we're running into a slight issue. These, these heels, these heels are not really making it into the pockets. Okay. I feel like I'm really being very aggressive with this packing right now. Create more space for myself here. Okay. You know, maybe if I zip this compartment up, it'll make things a little bit easier. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, okay. Now tennis shoes. I always bring a pair of tennis shoes in case I need to go to the gym or want to go for a run. I don't think I'm gonna have any luck with this pair. Like, I just don't think I'll be able to squeeze it in here. It is very snug. It is way too tight in there, so let's see here. Think it's gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna have to just wear this on the plane. Um, anyway. Okay, so maybe the extra pocket will just be for flip flops. I always like to bring, bring a pair of flip flops too because I don't like to be barefoot inside hotels. I've heard that people <laughs> do really um, unsanitary things to the floor sometimes, like urinate on the floors even so i always like to wear flip-flops in hotels so it looks like everything fit in here pretty nicely you can see it's a little snug but everything's in there and i probably could have done a better job of folding everything and rolling it which is the recommended method to pack um, the, it's like the, I think from the military, that's how people in the military pack their stuff. You roll it up in a safe space. Now let's not forget the shoes. So here I'm gonna take three pairs of shoes. Um, and I like to have my shoes not just like this and stick it in a bag. I like to keep it sanitary and hygienic by putting them into these bags that I saved from the grocery store, um, you know, those bags that we use to hold vegetables, like this one, I think it comes from maybe Whole Foods or something. Um, so I like to just keep it in here, and then I stick it in the bag. These are some nudish, like pinkish. They're actually more pink than they are brown. It looks brown on the camera, but um, these aren't like the most comfortable shoes I have, but I wanna just wear them out since they're not the greatest and then maybe give them away or throw them out. Oh, we're running into a slight issue. These, these heels, these heels are not really making it into the pockets. Okay. I feel like I'm really being very aggressive with this 
packing right now. Create more space for myself here. Okay. You know, maybe if I zip this compartment up, it'll make things a little bit easier. Okay, now tennis shoes. I always bring a pair of tennis shoes in case I need to go to the gym or want to go for a run. I don't think I'm gonna have any luck with this pair. Like, I just don't think I'll be able to squeeze it in here. It is very snug. It is way too tight in there, so let's see here. Think it's gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna have to just wear this on the plane. Um, anyway. Okay, so maybe the extra pocket will just be for flip flops. I always like to bring, bring a pair of flip flops too because I don't like to be barefoot inside hotels. I've heard that people <laughs> do really um, unsanitary things to the floor sometimes, like urinate on the floors even so i always like to wear flip-flops in hotels okay and for the last piece i'm going to um i just don't think much else is going to fit in here and i don't want to risk breaking the zipper so i'm gonna try to zip this up okay it is really bad <laughs> right, let's see here zips up nicely there you go beautiful beautiful um and now i'm gonna put in electronics so um i'm gonna just put in my ipad and let's see if it'll fit in here of course it does great and there's still room for um you know whatever else you need like let's say you have a laptop you could probably fit it in here um chargers can go in here very well cell phone too um, and I don't think you're gonna have any trouble fitting in electronics. I was hoping to fit also my toiletries in there, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah. So this is it. All packed up pretty much, minus some little knickknacks here and there like keys, cell phone, wires, chargers, all that. Overall, I think not too bad, not too bad.